Welcome ladies and gents, Mr. Bisto here and today we have a brand new video for you all on Satisfactory. Now I've recently become obsessed with this game and thought I would try my hand at making a solo factory after playing on our community server with a few friends. Needless to say however my ADHD may have gone into overdrive a bit, I soon found myself knee deep in a mess of partially finished projects, spaghetti belts and a power grid with bigger fluctuations than the British pound. So I've decided to try and fix this mess instead of simply starting a new save, but I thought it might make a fun video or series of videos to show the changes and hopefully progress that I make moving forward. If you want to see the full uncut footage of all the builds and work that I'm carrying out, then feel free to check out my Twitch. I am also working on a VOD channel for YouTube as well for anyone who prefers watching the full length videos that are numerous hours long. All links will be in the description below. With all that out the way, let's crack on with the video. Here is my current save and as you can see it's a bit of a mess. I've got production lines half on foundations and half off, set up at different elevations, spaghetti conveyor belts all over the place and I've tried building between the sand dunes in places for some reason, don't ask me why. The production lines that I have set up are just thrown together in some kind of freakish Frankenstein configuration of minimum efficiency and maximum tangle. There are floating platforms that seem to just be there for the sake of being there. I made a start on a huge road system that was going to move iron from every node in the dune desert to the east coast for a mega refinery. But I think you'll agree that would probably be hard to accomplish on the just over 3000 power that I was running on at the time. So for my next major plan I decided to try my hand at fuel power. I made a huge power plant that I did all the maths completely wrong for, consisting of 1800 oil, making 600 plastic, 600 rubber, using 80 refineries, and finally 65 fuel generators, all to create a power grid that fluctuates anywhere from 8000 to 11000 power. I think we can class this as a bit of a low efficiency build. The list really does just go on with what I've done wrong so far in this save, but there are also little bits that I'm really proud of. I set up wet concrete in a half organised way, along with one production line for rotors and one for reinforced iron plates, each with storage and overflow to awesome sinks. I would also like to add that my coal power build was working excellently, along with the 50 power cells I set up next to it as a safety net. The fuel build I used from a tutorial to practice was really good too, but seeing how that was just me following someone else's build on YouTube, I can't really take credit for the end result of that one. All in all, I feel like I had some really good ideas, but was never focused enough to actually finish any of them, and feel that like I focused too much on progressing through the tiers instead of simply building things and enjoying the game for the masterpiece that it is. It truly is an incredible game. So moving forward, I think the first thing that I need to work on is going to be the power situation. For this, I have enlisted the help of a good friend of mine, Reverick, who is helping me out with all the calculations and setup process for my first adventure into turbo fuel. This is going to be so much fun and I'm super excited to get started on making this place into something I can really be proud of and sharing that experience with yourselves. I am not yet 100% sure on how I will structure all the build videos, as pretty much all of it is going to be done on my live stream, so we will have to wait and see how it goes. But if you have any ideas or just some advice, pop it in the comments below. Feel free to join our Discord, all links to everything mentioned in this video will be in the description below. And above all, keep building pioneers. 